That's So Raven for the Game Boy Advance came out on October 12th, 2004. And That's So Raven you play as Raven. And guess what, girl? You're gonna have some visions! Please don't leave. This game is terrible. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It's bad. But did you expect anything less from a game on the Game Boy Advance based on a Disney show? No. No, you didn't. The whole premise of this game is just taking episodes from the show and then having you play through them. But dear God, it's so bad. They take stills from the show, but they're so pixel- Look at that! The fucking missing no from the original Red and Blue Pokemon games look better than that. The game is split into four episodes, each one having a set of different levels within them. You might be trying to protest school uniforms, or helping some stank-ass kid take a bath. Maybe, maybe this was pretty cool for the five kids that got this as a Christmas gift from their grandparents back in 2004, but it's bad. Before I talk about the absolutely superb gameplay, I want to talk about the way this game looks. It looks like fucking shit! Look at her face! <laughs> she looks like some sort of mutant fish woman! Not just that, but look at Raven's sprite, man! She has no face and it scares me! The two-frame walk animation is pretty damn hilarious, but the fuck the fucking run animation! How do you even make something look this bad? She looks like a fucking T-Rex. Honestly though, why couldn't you play as Eddie or Chelsea? The game is already so repetitive and boring, it would have made more sense to at least break up the monotony of the game with some different characters or playstyles. Throughout That's So Raven, you'll do the same shit over and over and over and over and over. It gets mind-numbingly painful. There is a fat guy in this game who wants you to find him some floor burgers, and you do it five times. Maybe even more than five times. Each time he wants more burgers. I feel bad that I'm slowly inching him towards a stroke. But hey, you know, if that happens, then something would happen in this piece of shit! Speaking of floor burgers, in each level there's a side mission, and they're all so pointless. Maybe they unlock a shitty still from the show at the end, which you can view in your yearbook, which is cool. It was pointless. You're gonna help some bitch collect her demo CDs, which people keep throwing out, or helping Horatio, the fat ass, get closer to a heart attack, or waking up a narcoleptic cheerleader. Why is she even in here? And then there's some guy that needs papers for an assignment or something. I don't really give two shits about any of these side missions, because when I finish one of them, it's so anticlimactic that it leaves a sour taste in my mouth which I'm sure the cheerleader could relate to. Half the time I played this, I ended up beating the game on accident. Like, seriously, I would try and find all the damn CDs or floor burgers and end up just beating the whole level, so... That's cool, I guess. At the end of each world, they actually do vary the gameplay, but it's honestly worse than the main game. Like, like this. It's just the shadows of my footsteps while I'm in the air duct. I beat this on accident, by the way. Of course, I almost fell through the air duct because Raven is apparently a fat ass, but hey, you know, whatever, man. There's about three different things that can happen in this game, excluding the terrible end levels in each world. You're either going to be collecting something, hiding from hall monitors, or just trying to find a person to talk to. Well, there is one level where you have to find kids to protest with you, but it's just collecting kids which sounded a lot better in my mind. Hiding from the hall monitors has to be the worst part of this game. It slows down the already tedious and boring game to a halt. Watch out, Mark of the Ninja! What annoys the shit out of me is the fact that near the end of this game, they put hall monitors in the mall. Like, you know, they don't reskin them. They just go, hey, here's a hall monitor. Hope you don't, you know, see him or anything. He's fucking hiding the wall. This is a hall monitor. I think the people working on this just went, Hey man, fuck it, this game sucks ass, just make one more level! Oh, and fuck the principal in this game. He's everywhere. I swear to God, he's the omnipotent force in this game. Not to mention he's always stalking Raven. But enough complaining about the random shit, I want to talk about some of the gameplay elements. Raven has a few different things she can do. She can run, and I, I know, what is this, running in a game? She can swing her bag, which is almost completely useless. Spill water on the floor, and then this happens. Paging Dr. Faggot! Dr. Faggot! Not to mention you can also squirt people in the eye with perfume. Yeah, perfume. Now this, this is... This is borderline horrible, Disney. I'm just walking down the hall- Shit, what the fuck?! Look at the 
that he goes into a violent coughing fit. I swear to God, I killed a man. But fuck it, just spray everyone. I did it to the principal every time I saw him. That's really all there is to the combat of this game. Excluding the fact that you can deflect muffins and shit with your bag, but that's just pointless because you can't move when you're doing it. Oh yeah, and the water in this game? Fuck that water. This game is so bad. I almost feel bad for the people that worked on this. Almost. Even if you were a massive fan of the show, you'd probably end up killing yourself just from the fact that they butchered everything. The stills look like pixelated ass. The gameplay is worse than Snake on my fucking Nokia from 2001. And the music. Oh my god, the music. You got three tracks! I hope you enjoy hearing them over and over again! Maybe I'm being too harsh on a Game Boy Advance game from 2004, but you know, wait, no! No! Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga came out on November 17th, 2003 in North America, and I swear to God I did not wiki this, and it was a million times better than this. To end this review, That's So Raven for the Game Boy Advance gets a floor burger out of five.